Surfing amazing heats here, getting the win as well, but just looks really, really comfortable, and that's when we see the best of Jordy. It definitely is, and, and to look at his season so far, he's got a lot of ground to cover as you see Kelly up and riding. Here goes Kelly, into the bowl here, sets up with a snap high in the lip. Slater pumping off the bottom, and he will project a long line, cutting back, all the way back into the white water. Now it will get hollow on the inside, he's pumping here. What's he got pulling in, Slater? Streaking through a tube, bit of a chunky section ahead of him, little adjustment from him, and he dips in, Slater still traveling. And it looks like he went down there, and a quite a long way through that inside in a big throaty section. Meanwhile, Robinson up and swinging, pumping from a high line, doesn't like the look of that way, a little bump to it, some white water on the face, a bit gargly. An absolutely brilliant matchup with Griffin Colapinto. Let's pick up live action here. And we see a concerted paddle effort from Jack Robinson off the bottom, swooping back, the figure eight carved down. And then he'll set himself up here to go into the lip, a little layback energy from him. Nice vim and vigor to that turn, setting up again. This early part of the wave does feel sort of preparatory for what comes down the line. Another big snap from him there. And you see a little hand stall from the bottom turn and a really nice throaty tube. Jack Robinson finding some cover and negotiating an exit too. And some fancy footwork. I mean, just watching the shuffle up and down that surfboard, really utilizing, you know, the, the meat of that board. Let's get another look at his wave. Yeah, so just gliding into this wave, you can tell that these surfers really taking their time for these waves to stand up. It's such a beautiful thing when it starts to hit that shallower section and they really get stuck in. Um, I love the variety from Jack too. A slow roll through that cutback maneuver, starts to step on the gas, meets that section, comes under the lip. Almost that double hand store decides to drag that arm there. Like I said, just watch the feet. Like, watch how he's just uh, shuffling up and down to really maintain the speed and, and letting go of it when he needs to, dragging that arm to stay in that barrel. He stays high in that barrel. You know, you're looking at supers, it's kind of got that almond shape to it. So you need to stay in that top section just so you can get the speed through it um, in order to make that barrel. A lot of spray from Jack. Um, double hand drag there. Decides to kind of get a bit more speed. Just a lot of control in his surfing and a lot of awareness, I think, too. When you look at the what he's doing to set up for the barrel and how he's threading through it, he's just so aware of where he is on the wave. I mean, he doesn't get particularly deep, but just looks so cool to see his comfort level. I know that he's uh, had about four trips here to, to Jeffrey's Bay, so he does have a couple of reps, but never in the jersey. So at uh, the absolute peak of his powers, found the winning formula. Uh, just uh, three and a half minutes when he gets his board back under him. Well, you just can't take your eyes off this. Slater up and swinging. Look, snap off the top for Kelly. Bottom turn with a ton of speed. Covers so much ground. Projection on the foam kind float. Puts him back in the pocket. Whoa. Goes the carbon 360 and goes down. Let's have another look at Kelly's last wave. Yeah, dot to dot. Kelly Slater just laying onto that rail. It's so fun just seeing someone that's got such a connection with the place. You know, this was looking so beautiful for Kelly. Goes for that carving trio, just doesn't uh, complete that. Going through the gears, surfing with the speed. Meanwhile, priority heat, top of the point. With a ton of speed himself to open up. Blistering pace from Robinson. Big hook to open up. Now, again, just carving down from the top and looking to set this one up here. So a measured pace to the opening part of this wave from Jack Robinson. He's leading this heat against Kelly Slater. The wave gets much steeper through here. Really dynamic turn. Loads in the legs there from Jack. And again, a big hit. Just kind of flicks it down out of a powerful lip, quite nonchalantly. Stomps on the tail and he pulls into a barrel with a little bit of bend in it. He has to come out low. Still ain't done. And again, <laughs> try and pull in here. A little stall from Jack. Just tags it really hard. And a really well surfed wave from Jack Robinson finishing off. Some parts of it you're like, I'm going to go as fast as I can to get down the line on this thing. Like you said, he has a measured pace through these opening sections of the wave. Starts to step on the gas, kind of winds through these cutback maneuvers. Now he watches it. He knows it's going to stand up as it starts to double up on this section. I think these guys are becoming really in tune with what this wave is going to do. But here he gets engaged, leans on that right there. Beautiful. You know, that's a kind of a Margaret River main break turn that you come to, to recognize from Jack. 
So really like that two-turn combo. Tucks in the barrel here. Has to kind of doggy door exit there. So uh, we'll see what the judges think. Yeah, he just can't help himself. He's like a little truffle pig just going for that next section. Just trying to sniff out more scoring potential uh, completed by him. Now Kelly Slater up and riding. Beautiful rail arc there. Drops into that barrel section over there. This was actually in front of the car park section at Supers. Lays into that rail again. Repositions the foot and then kind of kicks out there. No, no more scoring potential from him. Let's see what went down here, Rosie. Yeah, this looks like a beautiful wave. First maneuver there kind of sets the fins free. Beautiful glide through that right there, leaning on that rail. This wave just has all the elements that you want, that speed and flow down the line, but also letting you place those maneuvers in the pocket. Kelly with the theatrics there on that last maneuver touches that rail, but it looks like it got a little bit too skate. School. <laughs> New school. The crowd rail tail slide. <laughs> yeah, it's just so fun to watch the, the different uh, approaches of Kelly Slade. I think he's always uh, invigorated. Oh, that swell is still just marching on through and... and like we said, that forecast is predicted to pick up. As we see, someone's going to have a little go, have a little sniff at this wave. In position and swinging from halfway back out on the bomb. Capped on the outside, Kelly Slater, 11-time world champ. What's he got? He knows he needs a decent score. And he'll be patient as this one pushes, but hoping for a tube down on this end section here. Off the bottom, standing tall, Slater. Big, big tube. Kelly, can he come out? And he doesn't. Wow. That was a solid section. All of that energy unloading down there, Rosie. Because he's got to wait a long time for it to kind of stand up. But here it starts to double up. And this one was kind of in the middle of the bay. I mean, I wouldn't even know what section that is because it's a, it was pushing off the rocks. And, I mean, could have been. We'll see Pupo. And he'll have to give way. And it is Slater looking for that 6-4-1. Kelly snaps hard in a pocket. Snaps under the lip, disappears, emerges with speed again carving down into his bottom turn and another nice loose snap carve from him Slater still looking down the line here and Robinson's up behind him Slater pulling in off a quick turn and just grabbing that face stalling really nicely emerges with speed crucially and a little flicking float down to finish Slater I don't know that was looking so good and then this from Kelly Slater he needs that mid-range uh, six and I think he was Looking really good to get that score. We'll see what the judges think, because this is a power surfing to a tee, small away from Kelly, but it had that kind of pace to it that Kelly really likes to keep him in the pocket, especially with the equipment that he's on. That rounded pin just fits in the pocket so nicely. Find some tube time. He comes out of this one, and he's not done. He kind of floats that edge there, and watch this little claim. Meanwhile, Robinson, is he inside this? Is he coming out? He is. Jack Robinson is absolutely flying through a barrel here. Shut the front door. Jack Robinson points at the panel. He ain't done yet. Big, meaty carve down again. And yeah, just belting it for good measure one more time. How about that stuff from Jack oh Robinson? Oh, my gosh. I mean, Kelly is kicking off his way, feeling like he's got that mid-range set uh, six, only to look over your shoulder and see Jack locking into that wave. So this is going to be so fun to see these numbers trickle through, to see who's going to get the better of this. Two and a half minutes remaining. Because it was all about quality on this one, Rosie. Yeah, tricky takeoff there from Jack. He paddles in hard, digs that back arm in for the layback. So first maneuver, really strong. That kind of goes through the motion. But that wave came for Jack Robinson, held his nerve, held priority, and gets not only the performance, but also the win, Rosie. Yeah, really cool stuff from Jack, just to kind of tidy that up in a neat little bow with a 9.1 on the last ride. Beautiful surfing. Well, an absolute classic of a heat.